Hello everybody, Gamer Penny here bringing you another episode of our Night in the Woods Let's Play. We are about to go talk to Greg. So we've been all over town, saw everyone but Angus, who I can't remember where he works. We're going to come in and see Greg. Um, B also in the last episode said that we could follow her around work. And depending on what Greg is going to have us do, we might go and do that. But I think we're going to hang out with Greg since we spent the day at the mall with B before. So, hey, hey, May May. Totally. What's up, dude? Uh, was thinking about going to jail. <laughs> you're, like, you're planning on going or, like, you're afraid of going? Like, you're planning on going? I think I could break out. Maybe I should, like, test my skills of escape. I feel like the risk is bigger than any possible reward. <laughs> yeah. What brought this up? Had a nightmare about going to jail. My cousin went to jail. My other cousin, Jen, said it was inevitable. Aw, oh, man, you're not inevitable. I mean, it's not inevitable. No, go back. I am definitely inevitable. <laughs> the inevitable Greg. Is Angus around today? Nah, he's off doing some stuff. What stuff? Uh, family stuff. They're not worth talking about. Yeesh. You wanna hang out? Got a lot to do today. Yeah, man, let's roll. Yeah, man, let's roll. Cool, later. You wanna hang out? Got a lot to... Yeah, man, let's roll. Damn straight. Oh, I, we must have chosen the wrong one. Mechanics. Okay. Mechanics? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, the bullet went clean, clean through. What the... <laughs> You got a bullet hole in your head? You can still see the bullet hole in it. How did that not kill him? It must have missed all the important parts of the brain. Wow. Yeah, great great granddad was pretty tough. But isn't that the helmet the fascists were wearing? Ugh, no, Ron War. And Ron Country. These weren't the bad guys. Read some history. Jeez, okay. When did you learn all this stuff? When people kept saying it was a fascist hat. <laughs> so what are we doing? You up for a crime? Boy, am I ever. I mean, I kind of did some last night. Oh, really? Without me? Aw, dude. You're always my number one crime friend. <laughs> That's beautiful, dude. Likewise. So what's the plan? Follow me. Yes, dear leader. I am both a leader and a deer. <laughs> Greg. So I wonder if this is... Uh, Rain shear cleared up. We have a bat. Weather moves for us. So what do I need the bat for? Ta-da! Ooh la la. F that car up, Private Borowski. So, you brought me out here to watch me beat up a car? Or, why? Do you need a reason? No, but I like one. Fair. So we need the battery out of this car. What for? That's privileged info, Private. Stop calling me Private. I'm a general at least. I ain't in your army. I'm a general at least. No, I'm the general. I got a hat. War is stupid. Watch it. War got me this hat. <laughs> okay, but what if someone needs this car? I think it's safe to say no one's gonna miss it. Yeah, I guess. It's got a tree growing through it. <laughs> so we're just beating it until the hood pops open? Or why aren't you helping? So we're just beating it until the hood pops open? Yeah, just smash it up. Smash it all up. Smash capitalism. Smash the government. Smash this car. Yarg! And then we go and we hit it. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, destroy the fascist car. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to jump on it. Onward, revolution! We're breaking the windows. Yarg! Your time has come, car. Can I turn around and hit this window? Say your prayers, car! Ghost tiger vampires rise from the moon! What? Blood! Give me blood! It's gonna- it's not gonna like- the final blow! It's not gonna like explode, is it? Do I have to smash it from behind? Let's try that. There we go. Get this bumper up. There we go. Excellent work. Thank you. I agree. You want to do the honors? Am I going to get electrocuted? Should be fine. The car's got a tree growing through it. Probably not electric anymore. Wait, but do you want to do it or not? 
I do. <laughs> Could possibly. Okay, so just grab one of the wires and yank it off. Thanks, I think I can figure it out. Gotta get rid of these leaves first. Okay. Whoops. Alright. Move all these leaves out the way. Get out of here, leaves. Okay, grab one of the wires. Ouch. Okay. I can't do anything? I can't... What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, Yarg! Whoa! We got electrocuted. Did I die? <laughs> Sharkle. Hey, Sharkle. What are you doing here? You've always been a good friend, May. But well, we've been through so much together, May. The good times, the bad times, the porn adware fiasco. That weekend you tried to change the operating system. You're right. We have been through a lot together. Sharkle, am I dead? Yes. No. Oh, that's good. I have things to do. You must go back. You are meant for great things. Really? Not really, no. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie here. I appreciate it. This is awkward. Don't feel bad, Sharkle. <laughs> what? Ha 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 ha. Dude. Ha 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 ha. It's probably Greg. Ha 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 ha. Ugh. Oh shit. You okay? I think I died. I think I died. How long was I out? Like five seconds? Oh, weird. Time like stretches. It's a mysterious universe. We good to go with the battery? You know it. Let's get back to the apartment. I taste pennies. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I taste pennies. <laughs> I got blood in your mouth. And anyway, even if it was a fascist helmet, it's got an anarchy symbol on it now, which makes it good. And there's a bullet hole in it. So whoever was wearing it is dead. And I'm like wearing the trophy. So you admit that's a, that it's a fascist helmet. Okay, hey, time out. What is that frog eyes looking at us from the box? And why is there a torso on the couch? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, okay. So what are we doing? Okay, so, wait, question. She's gonna ask the question I just asked. Shoot, what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah. The thing? Yes, obviously the thing. Remember those big like robot cartoon characters they used to have at the food donkey? I do. Oh my God, is that one of them? Are we gonna put one together? Dude, we totally are. This is amazing. Where the hell did you get it? You know, Steve Scriggins. Guy who locked the substitute teacher in the supply closet. Guy who drove little circles around people in school parking lot. So they were trapped, called it car camp, and he'd blast one of those air horns at you. Yeah, that guy. He's horrible, man. But he's been hanging out at the food donkey since it's been shut down, and he dug it out for me. That is the first useful thing Steve has ever done. Okay, 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 okay. What do we do? We need to get this old battery into that old thing. Okay, well, this sounds straightforward enough. Kinda. It's full of garbage. It's too bad you didn't cut yourself on it and get a disease. What? <laughs> it's too bad you didn't die on the way here. It's too bad the robot wasn't filled with angry snakes and they killed you. It's too bad the elevator didn't fall and squash you like a pancake. Oh, dude, no, that's a phobia. <laughs> that's one that makes sense, at least. <laughs> okay, what were we doing again? <laughs> Oof, this thing smells. That's just how old machines smell. No, like, I think something was living in here. Oh, God. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you stop being so negative? <laughs> Why don't you eat your own neck? That's impossible. Be serious. This is serious business. Oh, well. Well, don't mind me. See, I've already died once tonight. No big deal or anything. What was it like? I saw a shark, I think. I can taste my tooth. I saw a shark, I think, and it told me something important. What was it? I don't remember. Couldn't have been that important then. True. Okay, let's do this. Clamp it. Wait. I can't move, okay? We clamped it. We didn't get zapped or anything. <laughs> Jeez. That looks safe. Are you gonna be all boring now? Just because you died for like a whole five seconds? Dude, come on. Some people have been dead, like, forever. Do you see them whining? 
Um, right. They either shut up and deal, or they become ghosts. <laughs> Are you saying I should become a ghost? Yeah, carpe, carpe diem. Carpe diem. Oh, look who's all fancy in French now. Okay, fine. What are we doing? <laughs> now is the best part. We are going to put this beast together. Do you know how it goes together? Going to find out. Cool. May? Sorry. Cool. <laughs> Awoo. Awoo. <laughs> His Kermit arms. Here are all the parts. Oh, God. Wow, so many possible combinations. We can create our own unique metal offspring. So we just clank these together? Yeah, slap them together, tighten some screws. What could go wrong? I mean, quite a lot. Lots of times stuff goes wrong. Dude, you are no fun. I literally just died. Okay. What do I do here? Oh, um, how about here? No. Nope. Um, how about here can we put this here okay and then grab i'm gonna use this and put it oh my god here <laughs> can this move down like here oh my god um actually can i take this part off and grab just the head and put the head just right here there okay and then um maybe this could be a leg okay and a foot okay and maybe um <laughs> maybe another leg here Oh god, and the robot sign up in the corner. I don't know what it means or does. And put another foot. Let me see. Put a foot here. And then we gotta give him some arms. So how about this as an arm? Okay. And this as an arm. And then you know I'm gonna have to put this butcher knife <laughs> in his hands. <laughs> and uh, what's this? Like a... A bottle, whoops, and a bottle in this hand. <laughs> okay, and then I think this symbol means make it. <laughs> He's beautiful. He's perfect. Our beautiful boy, our robot son. So like, this is pretty great and all, but remind me, why did we just put a bunch of garbage together in your living room and connect it to a stolen car battery that's already leaking acid on the carpet, I think? I don't know. Since you've been back in town, I think I missed Greg of a few years ago. Hmm? Like, these days I mostly work all the time, but why are you working so much? We got plans. What plans? Bright Harbor. Bright Harbor? When? Since when? Uh, a year or so now. That's why we're working like seven days a week. But when are you moving? I think in the spring. That's like a few months away. Yeah. Oh, okay. You should come visit when we get settled in. Why Bright Harbor? Why Bright Harbor? Oh, May, it's so cool. We visit it in the summer. There's like record stores and weird bars and everyone's cool and like free. Oh, that's where I got my tattoo. What? Yeah. <laughs> is that a sheep? <laughs> is <laughs> she says the same. Is that a sheep? <laughs> yep. Why a sheep? The tattoo guy was like all the way hot, and I didn't even hurt, and it didn't even hurt. You have a tattoo. You're moving to Bright Harbor. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Anyway. Yeah. Like I was saying, now that you're back in Possum Springs, I was like. Hey, let's do some crimes again. Aw, dude. Yep. So I was thinking about how to use that for, like, good. So I thought I'd bring this here for Angus. That's beautiful, dude. I'm sure he'll love it. I hope so. Okay, so... Yeah, all we need to do now is turn it on. Ooh, ooh! I want to push the button. Let me push the button. Let me do it. 
Dude, it's the least I could do. For my best friend, back from the dead. Pizza party next time I die and come back. <laughs> Dude, that is such a deal. Sweet! <laughs> okay. Oh, God. This side smells even worse. Hope whatever was living here in this hole. Okay, I think I see it. Push it, push it, push it. Hey, I'm glad you and Angus have this whole, like, life together. Thanks, dude. We've worked hard. That's sweet. Push it, push it, push it. Okay, 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 okay. All right, get out of here, leaves. Get the heck out of my sight. And we're gonna push the button. Did we do it? Hello? Ah! <laughs> Yarg! <laughs> We got zapped again. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! <laughs> it lives! <laughs> what the? <laughs> I. Woo! Wow, wow, wow! Hey, hey, Angus! How's it going, May? Good! I didn't die this time! You? Good. Good. I'm just gonna lay here for a while. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> we're, just, we're just being electrocuted. <laughs> okay, that was our day. We didn't even get to go see May. Or uh, B. We're May. Uh, anything in here? Nope. Let's talk to our dad. Maybe he moved those boxes. Hey, dad. How's work? You know, better than the glass factory. Is it? I've mined. I've ran machines. But now I get to slice steaks. And hock salamis. I mean, it's easier on the back, that's for sure. But, like, do you like it? I like having a paycheck. Fair. Paychecks, the sweetest meats of all. What'd you do tonight? Oh, you know, stuff. Tired. Feel like I just did a day's work. You know, there are places you can get paid for work these days. Oh, really? Yeah, they call it working. <laughs> huh, you kids with your slang. Slang you could pick up at work. Okay, yes, point made. Um, what about those boxes I asked about in the crawl space? Hmm, I'm thinking about it. Watch some TV with me? Yeah, for a little bit. Perfect timing. Garbo and Malloy is starting. Oh, God. Ah, yes. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> here comes Garbo and Malloy. Ah, yes. You know we like to get political here. Gotta do it, gotta. You hear about this new law on the books? Pirating a movie online, you know about that? I do. Punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Wow, and here I've been trying to get in the hard way. <laughs> he has, folks. Wonder if pirating a movie about first-degree murder earns you more prison respect than one about grand larceny. Hey, Malloy, you know what I think about that law? What, Garbo? That's a WAPA. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Coming up next, stupid sandwiches. <laughs> okay. We watch TV. All right. Good night, Dad. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. Whoops. I wonder if we'll have another dream sequence. So he hasn't moved those boxes. The bird is gone. Books are gone. Let's go to our room. Uh, let's check the computer. So tomorrow we'll go with May. I think we'll do the on-off. I hope we're not missing stuff by... Like, what were our choices? I wonder if we can get different stuff come up. Oh, we got three messages. Hey, May, you awake? Sure am. What's up? Nothing. Watching TV. What are you watching? It's a true crime show. Is it any good? No, the reenactments are terrible. But if they were good, I'd, like, actually feel bad for them. As it stands, it's just like bad local commercial actors pretending to murder or be murdered. I love those shows. They're the best. Cool. Hey, punk. Are you still electric? <laughs> no, I think it's gone now. Hold on, let me touch something metal. <laughs> oh, it's not... Okay, I touched my futon frame and we're good. Good work, Dr. Science. Does Angus like the robot? I think so. He's just kind of looking at it. Hold on, I'll ask him. <laughs> okay, he says to say thank you, so I think that means he likes it. All right, duder, I'm turning in. Me too. See you later. Okay, who's this? Hey, May, are you all right? I was afraid you were really hurt, and you left so quickly. I'm good, big guy. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Aw, oh, I appreciate it. I love Angus. Angus is like the adult of the group. Try not to almost die anymore tonight. No promises. Who is this? 
away message. Born to lose, country trash, proud drummer, skate and destroy, skate to create, bound for glory. Is that us? Who is this? Who's this last one? Do we know? I don't even know. Well, we'll find out, I guess, eventually. All right. Time for bed. So I'm going to send May to bed. Bedtime. I'm actually going to stay recording this time to see if we get another dream sequence. <laughs> um, and then we'll we'll end as soon as we find out if it's the dream or it's the morning. Because um, last time it, it surprised me. I was ready to stop recording, but then I was realized we were... Or, like, stop for recording for the day, but then I realized we were in the dream. <laughs> so, I just want to see where we wake up now. Yep, another dream, dream sequence. So, um, I am going to end off here, and when we come back, we'll do this dream sequence, and we will uh, go ahead and continue our storyline. So, I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Maybe we'll go and see uh, B, because today we went and saw Greg, and tomorrow we'll go adventure with B or whatever. But um, this is going to be where we end. Please be sure to like or subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more Night in the Woods. And I will see you guys next time. Alright, bye-bye everyone.